Hello guys, my name is Adil. Today I will show you how to make your own homemade yogurt. It's very healthy and very cheap. The reason of making this video, I went to supermarket today and I noticed one kg yogurt was approximately $7. So I said why people don't they make their own yogurt. It's so simple and so cheap. So I will share this recipe with you. For this recipe you just need milk. You can use full cream, skinny milk. It's up to you. I use both. They and they both work. And you need a saucepan. Any, I'm using wooden spoon. You can use spatula, any spoon. A jar where you're gonna make the yogurt. And uh, half teaspoon of natural yogurt. I'm using yogurt maker. You can make without a feed. I will also show you how to make without a yogurt maker. I'll put my saucepan on a heat. This is my jar. It's like a half a kilo. I'm making half a kilo yogurt. You can make more, it's up to you. You can make a kilo, two kilo, even ten kilo. It depends how much yogurt you use. So just pour your milk in a jar. A little bit more. Because it's going to reduce after boil it. And then pour the milk in a saucepan. Once you put the um, milk on, your heat should be just on medium and keep stirring your milk occasionally it's gonna take a couple of minutes I prefer to use the saucepan to boil the milk if you want you can heat up your milk in a microwave but that's how I make so my milk is boiling now I'll just turn off the stove if you try to make the yogurt with a hot milk it will split straight away so we have to give a ice bath I'll just leave it on a stove it's gonna take long time if you leave it on a cold stove. Let's open the cold water, put my milk in, make sure your water doesn't go in a milk. I think this is enough, yeah. Okay, my milk is in a water from last approximately three minutes. Now I'm gonna check the temperature. So it should be room temperature, it shouldn't be too hot. So I'm, I'll always use my finger, I'll just put my finger in. If you can keep your finger in a milk like a 10-15 seconds, it means it's a room temperature. If you can't keep your finger in, it means it's too hot and your yogurt will split and you can't have a nice yogurt. At this stage, you can add the vanilla essence or chocolate powder if you want a flavored yogurt. Yeah, so this is a nice temperature now. This is a half teaspoon yogurt. This is from my last batch. If you want to make it next time, you can use the leftover yogurt, just a half spoon, and you can make it again. So. Put your yogurt in a board. Mix it in gently. And I'm gonna pour a milk in my jar. You don't have to use the same jar, you can use any jar, even in plastic, glass, metal, just no matter, it's gonna work in all kind of jars. So if your jar is small, you can use a funnel. When you put the lid on, don't close the lid tightly, just gently, just, just put it on. I'm going to use this yogurt maker for to make this yogurt. This my parent gave me. This is at least 35 years old. There's nothing special in it. It, it will just keep my yogurt uh, milk nice and warm. You will be making your yogurt, not this one. And if you want to make the yogurt without this yogurt maker, you don't have this. Use any tea towel. I'm just using a tea towel. Wrap it around your jar. So you're just giving a nice and warm temperature to your milk. It depends what country you're living. If you if there is a summer or if the temperature is over a 30 degree, it's gonna work without that. You have to keep it on a nice and warm place. You can leave it in your cupboard. You can also leave it in your bedroom, in where your clothes are, wherever you feel is uh, warm and a good temperature so the best place to make this one to keep it in in your oven make sure your oven is off and and make sure you tell everyone you have a, put a yogurt in a oven with a tea towel because if they turn it on there will be big fire in your oven you don't want that fire brigade in your home so I'll just leave it in a oven overnight if you're making in a day, it's gonna take approximately 12 hours. When your yogurt getting ready, make sure just keep it on a place where you're not gonna move it. You have to just leave it there. Otherwise, your yogurt could be split and it will just break and it won't be solid. It will be very runny, so you don't want that, I'm sure. 
Hello guys, good morning. It's been almost 12 hours and uh, time to check our yogurt if it's ready or not. Mm. Excited? Just open my lid. Oh my god, it's very nice and solid and rich as you can see. It's very solid. It's not coming out. It's so hard just like a similar to Greek yogurt. I'm very excited to taste my yogurt. So break with a spoon as you can see it's very thick and rich so nice and no water in that mmm 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 so sweet and so nice and uh, I prefer to keep it in a fridge for one hour before use so I'll put this one in a fridge Thanks for watching guys. If you want us to do more video like this, please let us know. Bye. See you soon.